I know it's Friday, and the last thing you want to talk about is, you know, hey, let's let's watch a geeky TV show about short-term treasury bonds. Yeah, we could all here. We'll wear our pants up like this. Hey, let me tell you about short-term treasury bonds. I can't express to you enough on how important it is short-term treasury bonds for you to understand what's coming. No matter what sunshine and lollipops the president or anybody else says, in any party, smart money says, mm, not so fast. David Buckner is here. He's an adjunct per, uh, associate professor at uh, Columbia University. David, I just gave the, uh, the traffic light, the red, green, and yellow. Right. The average person is in, the, the green is stocks. That's where the average person is, right? That's correct. Okay. That's why you see the, it coming back it's up. The green sprouts and the communication that, hey, it's safe to go out again. So correct. many are starting to invest back there again. Okay, but it's, is it real? Well, it doesn't seem to be sustainable because you're finding those people who were starting into stocks a year ago are now going into treasuries. Those are the people that are institutional investors. What does that mean? They're the ones that represent large businesses or governments or unions mm -hmm. or foreign entities. They're the ones that have a lot to risk. These are the George Soroses if they're individuals. That's correct. Okay. And then you have the uh, uh, God Golden Guns. That's... that's crazy territory. That's when it gets really scary. Whoever's in either one of those will flee to that when they think it is all over. Right. But this is, we don't go to this territory. No, but you've seen some people dabble there. We have, but we, generally speaking, this is the line of, of That's sanity. If you get to there, you have You're problems. You're in trouble. You're right. in trouble. Okay. So the T-bills, to understand why this is important, is because my theory is this is people saying, just take my money and hold it. Just promise me. It's a mattress. It's saying, put it under the mattress and make sure I don't lose it. It's okay. not the T-bill. It's not something that's some boring component of, you know, economics. It's, you're putting money under the mattress and saying, please, please, please return this to me. I don't care. Okay. Just don't lose it. I was talking to a, uh, I was talking to a, a friend of mine. He is a, a hedge fund guy, just tons of money, been in the business for 40 years, investments and buying businesses and everything else. And then I came up with this analogy and see if this makes sense. We don't, as a country, as a country, it's like we've moved to California where it's a land of earthquakes, but we've never had earthquakes before. Okay? If you're in Washington or if you're in New York and you say to somebody, where's the safest place in your house besides under the table in an earthquake, a lot of people wouldn't know. It's in the door frame. Okay? You stand in the door frame. If you're from the West Coast, you know that. Stand in the door frame. Why? It is the threshold, it is the place that is the most secure for you. The country's never had earthquakes, financial earthquakes like this. So the door frame on this side is, is the stocks and T-bills. Talk to this guy and he said, Glenn, uh, I'm, I'm here. The door frame of insanity really is gold, God, and guns. Because you don't know what's on this side of the door, right? So you're standing here with the treasuries and you're just hoping you're going to jump back out. But you really don't know. He said for the first time... He doesn't know which way he's going, and he has no idea. Nobody's ever thought of what's on this side of the doorframe. Does that make sense? The metaphor is perfect for this reason. Those people who know the doorframe is the safest have already started to go there. This is what's evidenced in the zero uh, interest rate, the yield rate of zero. The people who know the earthquake is possible are standing in the doorframe. Those of us who have moved to California but, are still standing outside the doorframe right. saying, I like the sunshine. Right. So what is the... When you see the big money moving to there, because I just said this the other day, you want to you want to survive whatever's coming. Shadow Soros. I don't know if you can even shadow him because it's all hidden. Really elusive. Shadow Soros, because that guy knows exactly where it's going to fall. This is what he does for a living. What does it tell you, David, with these people who are standing there in the doorframe? Why is it that they are, that? that no one else is talking about this. Why is it that no one else has noticed the zero in front of the short-term interest rate? Because they're selling their stocks to go into treasuries. And if no one is there to buy the stock, or if they sound the alarm, everybody will run to the door frame. They won't get in and get a price for getting out. What is of it the that you space? think they're seeing 
right now that is pushing that? Because everything, everything that the average person sees is like, well, okay. Yeah, but Glenn, you've got to be honest. The discussions we have here about the, the debt ceiling, mm -hmm. how many people are sitting around their kitchen table and saying $14 trillion? Nobody. But these guys see it. Yeah. They know that. They're looking at an exorbitant deficit. How many people are sitting around their dinner table and saying, oh my gosh, our deficit is outrageous. They're not. They're going, Sorry. hey, green sprouts, green sprouts, green shoots. So the ones who know this that say, we can never pay this back. It's going to take us hundreds of years to do so. Not only that, do we have the risk of inflation. They know all the variables Could about the earthquake. Could it be a lot of them? are doing what they did in the 1930s, which was that you could not predict the government. So you're taking it out of the stock market because you don't know if they're going to pass this health care thing. You don't know if they're going to pass cap and trade. If they do, business is over. That answers the short-term reason. The reason they're going in at zero for short term is because right now with cap and trade, with health care, with everything else the government is throwing to see if it will stick, it's terrifying them. They're saying, you know what, until somebody in Washington figures this out, hold it, put it under the mattress, I'll take nothing, just wait. Okay. America, I want you to know clearly, I am not a financial advisor kind of guy. I, I, I just told you a story of a guy who's standing in the door frame. And he's, he does it for a living. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. It is the uncertainty that is killing America. Nothing else but the uncertainty. You can't do business in uncertainty. So what do you do? Take the uncertainty out of your own life. Shore up your own life. Get out of debt. Don't spend too much money. Buy a second box of macaroni and cheese. Take the pressure off of yourself because... People who are a lot smarter than we are or you are, they're doing something that most people in America are not. What is it that they see from their altitude that nobody's showing you in this altitude? Back in a minute. Thanks, Dave. Good to see you.